ever walk into a room, swear you left your phone on the table. And then it turns out it's like the TV remote or yeah. or a banana. Happens to the best of us. Right. And it turns out yeah. that all comes back to this whole top down and bottom up processing thing. It's wild, right? We think our eyes work like cameras. Yeah. Just recording what's out there, but it's... So much cooler than that. Oh, way cooler. Yeah. Our brains are basically constructing our reality. Okay, so I did my homework. I watched those videos you sent, read those articles. Awesome. And honestly, my mind is still a little blown. So for those of us who um, didn't do the reading, break it down for us. What are these processes and why should we care? Okay, so bottom-up processing, right? That's like starting a puzzle with only the pieces. No picture on the box, your senses, your sight. Mainly, they're taking in all that raw data. Colors, shapes, edges, Correct. just like a jumble of puzzle pieces. So it's like our brains are like detectives at a crime scene, <laughs> just piecing together clues. Exactly. But here's where it gets really cool, right? Yeah. Your brain is efficient. It doesn't like to work harder than it has to. Right. That's where top-down processing swoops in. Okay. It's like your brain having that puzzle box lid. It uses everything you already know, your past experiences, memories, heck, even your mood in that moment to make sense of what you're seeing way faster. So, like, I don't have to analyze every coffee cup I see to know it's a coffee cup. Exactly. Your brain's like, been there, done that coffee cup, moving on. Got it. And it's not just about saving your brain some effort. This is how you navigate the world without getting stuck analyzing every little thing. Okay, that's that's actually kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Our brains are basically creating like a highlight reel of reality based on what matters to us. Exactly. But then how do we know what's even real if our brains are constantly filling in the blanks and, and making these shortcuts? Right, and that leads us to one of the most insane facts about, well, Vision. Did you know the image that actually hits your eyes upside down? Wait, seriously? Yeah. So I'm like walking around <laughs> with the world flipped over in my eyeballs right now. Kind of. It's because of the lens in your eye. Acts like a magnifying glass, flips the light that enters it. Okay. But, and this is key, you don't actually see the world upside down. Because my brain's working its magic. Top down processing to the rescue. Yeah. Your brain has learned to flip that image back over before you even know it's happening? Whoa. Okay, so we're not just talking about recognizing a coffee cup here. We're talking about, like, literally rewriting reality on the fly. Pretty much. That's that's wild. But how does my brain even learn how to do that? Okay, so think of it like your brain learning a new language. At first, it's tough. You're stumbling over words. You're conjugating verbs wrong. But your brain rewires itself to make sense of it all. Same thing here. It figures out, okay, I'm getting an upside-down image. Let me just flip it. And boom. Seamless visual experience. Our brains are like these little magicians running around backstage making sure the show looks perfect for us out here. I like that. But, okay, let's back up for a second. Before our brains can do any of that flipping or, or predicting, yeah. how do we even go from seeing a jumble of colors and shapes to recognizing something specific? Okay, good question. Like, let's stick with the phone example. Okay, so... Light bounces off your phone, hits your eye, which is acting like a camera here. Yeah. But instead of taking a picture, your eye is translating that light into electrical signals. And then my brain steps in, right? Yeah. What happens to those signals? It's like a relay race. The baton starts in your eye, gets passed to the optic nerve, that's the messenger, super fast connection to the back of your brain, a place called the visual cortex. The visual cortex, so that's like the finish line for those signals. It's more like a well-organized sorting center. Okay. Your visual cortex has all these different sections. Some specialize in edges, some in color, texture, you name it. So the visual cortex is breaking down the image, Yeah. analyzing every little thing. Right, but remember how we were talking about the brain being efficient? Loves a shortcut. Exactly. So while your visual cortex is doing its thing, your top-down processing, it's already making guesses. Okay. Based on what you've seen before. So my brain's like jumping ahead, making predictions before it even knows what it's looking at. You got it. And most of the time, those predictions are spot on, right? right. Which makes the whole process super fast. Makes sense. Think about it. You don't need to analyze every little detail on a on a busy street right. to cross it safely. You just, yeah. Your brain uses past experience to predict traffic patterns. Right, right. Pedestrian behavior. Okay, but what about when our brains get it wrong? Okay. Like when I took the remote for my phone. Right, right. What's going on there? Classic example of top-down processing taking a shortcut. Okay. That leads to, well, a bit of a misfire. You see that rectangular shape? 
maybe a few buttons, and your brain jumps to a conclusion. If my phone. Exactly. But then you get closer. Right. And your brain's getting more information. Right. Starts adjusting those initial predictions. Right. Wait a minute. Like, hold on. This phone doesn't have any apps on it. Right. And and why is it changing the channel on the TV? Oh, that's right. It's a remote. So our brains are like constantly making these little bets about the world. Yeah. And sometimes they lose. Which is normal. Right? Totally normal. It's what happens when you have such a, a powerful predictive system. Right, right. And speaking of predicting, it turns out our brains aren't just predicting what we see. Okay. They're predicting all the time. Wait, what do you mean? My brain is always predicting. What, what does that even mean? So it's like this, right? Your brain is constantly trying to stay one step ahead. Oh. Using your past experience to figure out what's going to happen next yeah. before it even happens. Okay. Like, think about catching a ball, right? You just know where to put your hand, yeah. even though that ball is constantly moving. It's true. It's like my brain's <laughs> playing this constant game of what happens next. Yeah. That's kind of freaky. Right. But but how does that how does that predictive brain thing tie back into what we were talking about before? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so remember how your brain automatically flips that upside down image? Uh, That's a prediction too. Oh, okay. It's your brain going, okay, based on what I know about the world, things shouldn't be upside down. Right, right. And boom, it just adjusts. It's so used to making those predictions that you don't even realize it's happening. So if our brains are always predicting and, and making sense of things based on our past, does that mean that everyone's reality is, I don't know, a little bit different? That's a great question. And it leads us to a really interesting point about how our, our individual experiences I... shape our perception. So we're all like walking around with totally different realities in our heads. It's not even just a little different. It's like wildly different sometimes. Okay. Think about that phone we keep talking about. Right. It's not just a phone. Right. right. For one person, maybe it's connection. For someone else, it's, I don't know, a distraction or like a source of anxiety even. Yeah. Same object, but totally different meaning. So there's the actual phone, the physical thing. Right. And then my own like phone world. Yeah. Based on what it what it means to me. Totally. Our brains take in all this information, build a model of the world, but it's still a model, yeah. you know, a personal interpretation. And that's built on everything. Okay. Childhood memories, your cultural background, right. what you had for breakfast. This is blowing my mind. It's like we're all living in our own custom-made movies. Right. But we just happen to be sharing the same planet. And what's even cooler, this whole top-down, bottom-up thing, it's not just vision. Real. It's how our brains work all the time. Ever notice how a song can can hit you way different? Oh yeah. If you're hearing it for the first time, versus if it's tied to some core memory. Totally. Or like how food can taste different depending on your mood. Mm. Comfort food just hits different when you're feeling down. Exactly. Your taste buds are sending the same signals, but how your brain interprets them. Yeah. Totally depends on the context, your emotions, all that top-down stuff. Heck, it even happens with communication. Oh, tell me about it. You ever have someone completely misinterpret what you meant? Yeah. Even when you thought you were being totally clear? All the time. Yeah. So it's not just about how we see the world. It's about how we understand everything. Exactly. Right. And the more we learn about it, the more we realize just how amazing our brains really are. Yeah. And those differences. Yeah. That's what makes life interesting. This has been an eye-opening deep dive, uh. literally. It makes you wonder what other hidden forces are shaping our everyday experience. I, there's always more to discover. And on that note, we'll leave you with this. Pay attention to those moments when you realize your brain is taking a shortcut, making a prediction. It's a little glimpse into the amazing world of your own perception. Until next time.